Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can tell from the length of this video, I will show you a very special uh, recipe that is perfect for the holidays. Um, it's a perfect winter recipe, but it does take a lot of time and effort. First off, you want to take a bowl and you want to crack your eggs into that. And you're gonna need a lot of eggs for this cake. Then you want to mix these on a high speed for one minute. Next you want to add your sugar to that and all the exact measurements are down below. And again you want to mix on a high intensity for two minutes. Now you're ready to add in your ground hazelnuts as well as the cornstarch. And you want to do that little by little and mix in between until everything is added in. The more time you take here, the nicer the dough will turn out after baking. Then you want to pour it into a baking tin and bake that for about 50 minutes with 160 degrees Celsius. While that is baking, you want to go ahead and peel your apples and then you want to cut them in half. Again, cut them in half, remove the stem part and then cut them into smaller pieces. They don't have to be too small because you still want to be able to taste them in the cake. And when you're done with that, you want to squeeze a lemon. You want to use five tablespoons of lemon juice in a bowl. Again, you want to add some sugar to that as well as some vanilla extract. And then you want to give that a good mix until everything is combined. And then you want to pour the apples into that and mix until your apples are coated in that lemon juice sugar mixture. Then you want to pour them back into your little pot and you want to put them on medium heat for about six minutes, maybe a little bit longer, so they soften. And then you want to put them to the side to cool down. Next, in a, another little pot, you want to heat up some milk with some cream and a little bit of salt and some vanilla extract. You want to bring that to a boil while mixing. In another little bowl you want to add some milk with a egg yolk so you only need the yolk and again some cornstarch and you want to give that a good mix and then you want to wait for the pot to be boiling. You want to take it off the heat for a moment and you want to gradually pour in the mixture with the egg yolk and you want to mix it really well while you do that. And then you want to put it back onto the heat, again, low to medium heat, so uh, it thickens a little bit. And when you see it start to thicken, you want to pour it into a bowl that is cold and let it cool down completely. So now this is the next day. Everything is now cooled down. The apples, the um, kind of milk mixture and the dough. And you want to mix the apples and this kind of mixture you created. Then you want to go ahead and cut the cake into two layers and you want to use a very big a very sharp knife and try to be as even as possible 
so this is a little bit difficult so i let my partner do it because this is stuff that just frustrates me <laughs> so he had to do it but you can see that the dough works very well for that now you want to take half of the apple mixture and put it on the bottom layer and you want to distribute it nicely so there's no gaps now you can place the top layer on top and you want to put uh, a little bit of pressure on the cake so everything sticks together and then you want to distribute the second half of the apple mixture on top. Now for the last little bit of glam you want to take some powdered sugar in a bowl and you want to go ahead and add some marzipan. You want to knead that until it is completely combined and then you're ready to roll it out. So when you roll it out, you want to try to create an even circle that is a little bit bigger than your cake. So we can use it as kind of a marzipan blanket for the cake. And here the camera died, so this wasn't very pretty, but you can, you can guess what we did there. And then you want to gently push down on the marzipan. You don't want to push too hard so it doesn't get lumpy on top. And cut off the parts of the mother pan that you don't need at the sides. You want to roll that out again and get some little stars from that. And you can use some uh, food coloring with that as well if you want to. But I just used them as they are. And then you can stick them on top and you have a pretty, nicely decorated, super delicious apple marzipan cake for the holidays. So I hope you give this a try. It is extremely delicious and I will talk to you soon. Bye!